Welcome back, everyone, to the Lobster Roll Series Week 1. We're in the Losers Finals. I'm your host, Dominic or Shadow Fury, and we are at Randy and Google Frog on Anvilwood. Let's go check that out now. Losers Finals, Randy and Google Frog have been going at it. They went at it earlier in the winner's semis, and now this is their rematch. All of them, well, okay, not all of the marbles. They still have to fight Dregs, whoever wins this. And I. The. Darn it. Da, ah, come on. Sorry about that. Anyway, whoever wins this will be moving on, and whoever doesn't will be in third place. Not a bad place to be. Anyhow, Google Frog going for tanks. Randy! Going for shields. Actually, that makes sense on this map. It's a kind of smaller map. Shield bots. Smaller map, a lot of choke points. I could see shield bots working out pretty well. Randy reclaiming hard. Google Frog, on the other hand, going a bit more for static economy. Of course, welders are a fair bit more expensive than convicts. About twice as expensive. Randy taking full advantage of that, but Google Frog going much more for the static economy. I wonder if Google Frog's gonna try to save these for later? I don't think that'll happen, honestly. Randy looks like they're ready to just gobble up the entire field. Google Frog won't have anything left. Well, Google Frog is going for the welder. And the reclaim now. That makes a lot of sense. And also Kodachi, but... Well, two bandits coming in won't be a big, big threat to the welder, so the Kodachi is definitely gonna be the first major threat, raider-wise. Now, Google Frog Force, they are playing Tank Factory. They do want to have far more of a strong... They, have a, they do want a stronger economy. Randy can get away with just the Reclaim and a few Metal Extractors relative to Google Frog. Google Frog, on the other hand, though, they do have that stronger economy on top of the Reclaim. Like, Google Frog's static economy is as strong as Randy's economy with Reclaim. Ooh, however, Bandit's coming in here to make the Kodachi's life quite difficult, and the Kodachi able to take out one Bandit at the cost of its own life. Not at all where the Kodachis are about twice the cost of bandits. Almost three times the cost of bandits. Well, two and a half for sure. Two and a half times the cost of bandits, and only one of them went down. Google Frog continuing to go for Kodachis, though. It's still trying to fight the raider phase of the game. But a bit more focused on defense. Randy has really managed to take the initiative thanks to really cheaper constructors. Convicts being able to reclaim everything they can. And with eight, nine bandits coming down on the welder here, this is not going to be easy. Google Frog spotting it. Trying to run away. Does have the Lotuses. Dropping it down to seven before the bandits engage. Welder able to deal some damage. The Lotuses do go down. However, the Kodachis come in to save the day. And the Welder, providing a little bit of extra fire support, pushes back the bandits. One Kodachi does go down. But the entire squad of bandits is destroyed. Except one. One which returns to tell the horrific tale about how the rest of its squad was burned to death horribly. Google Frog now with a bit more of a lucrative reclaim field on their hands as a result. And already going for an air switch. Randy, on the other hand, getting a pretty quick felon. That is a remarkably quick felon. I get it. I mean, felon's not a bad tactic against light tanks it's a terrible idea against heavy tanks but against light tanks it's not bad because it's highly accurate and you know the attack is rapid enough that they can't the kodachis can't really get out of the way but once we start seeing ogres or minotaurs although in this map i nah i don't expect to see minotaurs in this map honestly there's far too little metal but we might i mean google probably might go for a minotaur here or there but anything heavier than a blitz that i mean a blitz actually that felon is going to be useless but it's good for the Kodachis. So right now, good good choice. Kodachis coming in here. Unfortunately, not quite able to get under the shields to actually deal any damage to the convict. That's the tricky part. You gotta move them in, and that convict was getting out of the way with a Lotus defense. Randy has got this pretty solidly in the bag as far as... Well, as far as map control goes. Unfortunately, the Kodachi here pretty much has to break through the shields. They don't want to get too close, otherwise the outlaw will kill them. And that convict is eating Google Frog's lunch. Taking all these rocks away right before their welders can get to it. I'd point out Randy 
actually does have a stronger static economy on top of that. Or at least a strong one. Google Frog able to reclaim some of this. But it's not working out. And the felon! Oh, never mind the Kodachi. The felon coming in here ripping apart the welders. At the same time, the Kodachi's coming around the side, but now Randy has turned that massive early reclaim into a fairly threatening army. While Google Frog, they went for that air switch. Risky move, but it might work out here. They will at least be able to take care of Randy's commander. Good choice of the recon com there. And Randy's commander indeed goes down, leaving the southwest completely open for Google Frog to take at their leisure. And why not take out a free metal extractor while you're at it? I always like to see that. That's always what I personally like to do with ravens when I don't know what to do with them, is just hunt down opponent metal extractors. It's not the biggest blow, but if your ravens survive, then you've just slowed them down by like 30, 40 metal per second. For, or 30, 40 metal, not per second, but slowed them down by 2 metal per second for, you know, 10, 15 seconds. But that adds up. Oh, Blitz though. Great choice. Blitz, of course, getting rid of the shields because... Any kind of status attack on shields just deals straight damage. That's a great way of eliminating a lot of the shield ball. However, not a whole lot of tanks are being built right now. We have a few... Oh, hey! There's a Minotaur! There it is! I was wondering when that would happen. Ah, oh, Google Frog's commander, though. The felon actually being surprisingly useful. Taking the commander out mid-air. And that... Might actually be it for Google Frog. I mean, these shields are weak, The, but the thing is that you can't really send in f any air units. The felons will take them out. And the blitzes are entirely out of position to defend against this. Minotaur is coming in, and that's a great way to drain all the shields, but honestly, a shield ball this big might not be enough, even with the Minotaur, to completely drain out the felons. So, unfortunately, that... Looks to be it for Google Frog. Down 10 metal per second. They only have half a dozen... Oh, no. Only have some ravens. And the Thunderbird! Oh, never mind. The Thunderbird actually... No, never mind. Nope. Nope. That's not going to help. Raven's going to try. I got rid of one of them. Damage the other. That's not nothing. I mean, they'd lose two ravens in the process. But the Blitzes are finally catching up. At the very least, one felon is way less of a threat than two, but Google Frog still decides that is not going to happen and throws in the towel, taking third place, and Randy will be moving on to the grand finals to face off rematch dregs. And from there, we'll see who is the winner of week one of the Lobster Roll series. So that'll be up in a few minutes. Stay tuned for that.